We're talking about Arrested Development, guys. Well, Have you ever watched a TV show? Yeah. So, guys, thank you very much for watching Hot Golf. You would have seen my What's in the Bag just recently. You're watching Intrapilly Golf. I reckon. They were playing at the moment. This might be part four, maybe, perhaps. No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This, might, this surely isn't post dated, post filmed. <laughs> um, this is live. This is a live stream. <laughs> yeah. Comment down in the live chat. See if you reply straight away. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, what, yeah. what am I wearing? Um, <laughs> so, we got Brian DeBert's What's in the Bag 2017 August edition, end of July. August. It would be, wouldn't it? August. It'll be August by then. Yeah, because I mean, not, I mean, now it's August now. Because it? it's not July now. Because it's live it's streaming. August. It's August now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so what's changed? What's new? And what's, what's going on? What's changed has probably been the driver and the wedges. Actually, a lot's changed. I'm not too sure if we've done a, a what's in the bag. We'll start with the wedges. Up. The wedges. Yep. Cleveland RTX 588s. Now I'm guilty of buying something that looked good. I didn't try them. <laughs> the blackies. I like the black heads. Yeah, Actually, you said that in your, in your uh, video too. I did, yeah. I did. Yeah. Look, honestly, I don't mind these, yeah. but I bought them because they look good, and that's a mistake that I don't really want to make again. Oh, so really? I think, well, no, I like them, yeah. but Maybe they're, wedge fle they're wedge flex shafts, and he oh. told me that I can't. I got told by, uh, I won't mention where, but <laughs> um, wedges only come with one flex shaft, and I was like, all right, I've lived my life differently yeah, the rest, okay. you know. That's when you go, and, well, my mate Charlie's got different shafts. That's right, and yeah. I was like, mother you know but so i actually don't mind these but i just find i i think i need to get not necessarily fit for shafts but buy something that's just a bit better yeah. quality and because you don't realize how much you actually use your um oh, your wedges all the time around like, the greens yeah more than honestly more than well if you're not a great golfer like us more than your putter i'd say so yeah so that's, even if you are good you know because you, even if you're a good player you're still using them as much as your putter I think. that's true like you're always around greens, you're yep. always chipping up the greens. Like um, you're a big driver of the ball, so you use them a lot. Well, I rarely use six iron, five iron, four iron. Yeah. So that's kind of that's kind of thing. But look, yeah. have that in fifty six and Jesus sixty. I should know that. Uh, <laughs> no bent lofts on these ones no, like your last well, ones. No. <laughs> Probably like if you went back to stock and took them back to the showroom, I'm sure they'd be bent. But they wouldn't be because <laughs> I've been told what to use. But <laughs> they, no, they've been used on the NBN just recently. Let's just say <laughs> that. Right. Yeah. And it's bloody slow. <laughs> yeah. So new new um, irons. And they are clean mm. as hell. If you can see that, that's look, pure ball marking. <laughs> you Would put, you believe? You put the cover on that. <laughs> <laughs> And then you. No, so. this is how I clean them. I go, boom, <laughs> and that doesn't get clean, straight on there. But they look. They don't clean their self. <laughs> That's, imagine self cleaning yeah. golf clubs. That'd be, that'd be. Back to the future type of shit. Waste, but yeah, no. That's true. <laughs> but, um, Srixen Z945s, I think I've got them in a 745s in the. I see the combo set. The combo set. Okay. 745s, I'll show you that one first. So that's, the, the 945 is like a blade. Yeah, like a blade, the so, other's like a muscle. So what are you cavity. got? And then from 6 iron down, you've got the, um, like cavity like mine. Yep. Yeah, okay. So KBS, uh, extra, extra stiff shafts. Now, they're about, I probably need them an inch longer. I did get them fit for me. No, we're, we're good. But um, I, I actually feel like even when he fit them for me, he said, I might, if I want them a little bit longer, I can come back. Okay. So I just didn't want to go extremely long by, like my original tailor made burners, which were you two and a half well, inches. Though. I actually, is it bad that I actually want to go back to them? Really? I don't know. I just, I want to capture the essence of <laughs> the, how I used to feel. <laughs> just get out there, some draw my spit. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> Why grips it, yeah. black and gold black and gold yeah. um <laughs> this is deteriorating oh. love, love, lovely japanese irons it is yeah. hey uh chris clerk fan of the show those are your irons covers iron covers 28 dollars shipped from perth overnight really yeah are they real well <laughs> as i real don't as, think so as, but they look good as real as my green fee today <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, on the green in, in, inside Jay Victoria Park, if you're watching. <laughs> yeah. um, I think uh, I'd go to hybrid. I've actually taken the three wood out of the bag because I find I'd rather be 10 meters short with my hybrid mm -hmm. than that's a bad analogy. I, I just dome my three wood a lot. You hit that too well. So, oh. Like you hit that 230, 240 meters. How clean is that? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, yeah. it's covered in dirt. You wouldn't think I'm a car detailer no. by trade, would you? <laughs> but, um, Oh, so you I get the same shaft as me. Same shaft, yeah. um, extra stiff. Oh, you got extra stiff. But I actually, this is what I want to get. This is a stock standard shaft. Like, I mean, stiff. They're down there. They're down there. I want to get a. I actually want to get a longer shaft. I'm almost contemplating a three wood shaft in a hybrid. I want to see what that's like. Okay. Can I get the forgiveness and the accuracy from a hybrid, 
with the distance of the three wood. I wouldn't change it because you hit that too well. Why change something that's that's amazing? That's probably the best club in your bag. Why go to more shaft that makes you less consistent? I'm like, a social golfer. I check down on I check down on the big dog these days. <laughs> it sounds dirty, doesn't it? I know it. That sounds oh. dirty, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh. Well, you had me before you said big. Um, <laughs> oh, we haven't seen this before. <laughs> the M1 2017. Oh, now carbon fiber bottom, carbon fiber top. You wouldn't think I need height, and I, I hit in the heel much, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. So Look where it's set right there. Manipulated. You so you can augment the bottom of the. Um, there you go. The the center of gravity and and, and sort of give draw bias and things like that. It's set on standard loft now. The one thing I like about and hate about interchangeable clubs is when they put on a grip, they sell. Where do you want it? because where, where's your lie going to be? Yeah. And you go, okay, that's what's going to be. Then you start tinkering around. Before you know it, this is facing that way, that's facing this way, and it kind of feels weird. Yeah, yeah. But it shouldn't, though, because, well, if your grip's lopsided, then you're in trouble. Yeah. But it is a mid trajectory shaft, which means I struggle getting height. I get yeah. a lot, lot, lot of roll, so this is supposed to allow me to get height. I actually wouldn't mind trying to get a bit more of a different shaft, though. Like, some, I, I still struggle getting height. Okay. Um, and, and your weight's at the back room, whereas my yeah. weight's at the forward because I get too much height. So there's, if, your, there's your forward and back center yeah. of gravity. So if I could put a fishing line here yeah. and have the weight five meters back, <laughs> I would Hooked do that. Hooked onto your TC and never lose it. <laughs> Been away all the guys <laughs> that are chasing me. Yeah. <laughs> like a cheap ass. Yeah. Sorry if you are one of those guys. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. That guy with the fucking scooper on the edge of the water in a packed field looking yeah. for balls. Which used to be Nick. Oh, Nick gosh. used to remember Nicky. First time we played at Nick. No, he did. Nick used to have one. Seriously. Nick had a ball scoop. I remember, um, this is a long time ago in the reviewer days, but I don't know, wherever we were playing, Nick's, Nick's pro Professional 100, whatever the... Uh, oh, the, the old one. They say BC on yeah, the before they used to get um, dimples everywhere, because they were that old. They're like bladder balls. That's that they had dandruff. <laughs> um, he would fish them out. Nick found the show. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then we go to the Scotty Cameron. Scotty Cameron. So which one is it? Newport Select Dual Balance. Uh, now this is supposed to have, apparently it's supposed to have the 5 gram weights, but this was the next demo and it came with 10 gram weights. Yep. So, yeah. Cool beans. Um, but look, not a bad club. Uh, Mizuno bag, I use uh, Vice Golf Balls now, but I'll pretty much use anything as white. Yep. Um, Always an ambassador for Vice Golf, so you see a lot, of, a lot of the Vice Golf Balls. Yep. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. We'll, um, we'll wrap this up in yep. a second. Good luck watching part 5 and 6. Yeah, thanks.